Whoa. Oh my gosh, it looks awesome. Oh, it looks beautiful. The rocks are gorgeous too. What's up everybody? It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today we are doing something pretty cool. We're gonna build a waterfall at the backside of this pool. It's gonna look like it's integrated with this pool deck. One of the reasons we do not usually get involved in pool waterfalls is because people are trying to bring the water back into the pool, which sounds like a really cool idea, but you need the perfect storm of a situation to actually make that work. On a vinyl pool like this, we would never put a waterfall on the edge of it. The weight of the rocks alone is too much for that frame to handle. There's a metal frame that holds that vinyl liner up and eventually we've seen them fail and I don't want any part of that. Not to mention, when you have a waterfall falling into a pool like this that's surrounded by concrete decking or pavers, it looks like somebody dropped it from outer space unless there's a bunch of boulders that accompany it. And most of the waterfalls that we see going into the pools just don't really belong. So our plan here today is we're actually gonna build a pondless or a disappearing waterfall right in this cove right here. And we're gonna look like it's integrated with the pool. The best part about this is they're gonna have a beautiful waterfall on the backside of the pool. It's gonna complete the whole ambiance of the space. Really nice surround on the backside, so we'll end up landscaping it. But you really only swim in a pool here in New Jersey for about three months. You got June, July, August of swimming season. What do you do the other couple months where the pool's still open but nobody's in it? And you've got this waterfall. Well, they can have the waterfall running even when the pool's covered, the waterfall can be running. So out here in the fall, when it's nice and cool, you start a fire, you still got your waterfall. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Now, this doesn't come without its challenges. Right against the edge of the pool here, where I'm standing, they had plumbed this because they initially wanted to do a waterfall going into the pool. There are some concrete anchors that go here for the pool cover, so we have to consider that kind of stuff. And there's gonna be, I'm certain, some plumbing running through this space. So we have to be very careful when we're digging over here. So I can tell right now that there are jets in this pool. There's one right there. There's one over in this space here. There's going to be some plumbing in this space. We have to dig down about a foot to get our, our aqua blocks units in, which are those there not put together. We'll show you that going together. And our pump vault. So if we can get our reservoir in the ground here, then we can build this space up here, a nice berm place some boulders in the front side so it carries that look out where you've got those nice outcroppings that flank either side of the waterfall, give it some structure and give you some place to put some planting and make it look like it actually belongs against the pool. For me, what makes a waterfall is the material you're working with. And I love to use a nice weathered field stone, something that's got some dried lichens, maybe some moss on it, usually gray or earth tone colors and when it's finished, it's gonna look, it's been there for a million years because the rock's already aged. It's stuff that's been sitting on the surface and the weather's just beaten it over many, many eons. And now it looks fantastic like this. Here's some of this weathered field stone. It's got the lichens in it, if you can see that. And you got some dried up moss here, some really nice colors with the, uh, the blues and the grays and the browns. You can see you've got some moss on this guy over here. When these get placed in the waterfall and it's finished, boom, instant age. Looks like it's been there for a very long time. In order to get these rocks to that pool area, we need a little help. And that's in the form of our 12,000 pound Kubota KX057 excavator. This baby right here. This is the machine that I use the most, 12,000 pound excavator. She's got a hydraulic thumb on her. On the back of our buckets, we have a hook with a clasp welded. So this way we can put our straps right to the backside, got a nice solid lifting point, gets us where we can get the most amount of weight on the end of our bucket. This machine's got a lot of weight to it, so it's a very stable machine for setting decent sized boulders. And she's got a big old butt, so she keeps down on the ground. All right, people, we are gonna get rocking and rolling here. I'm gonna show you the whole process. We'll time lapse, we'll do some slow-mo, all my usual stuff. I gotta, one thing I do wanna mention is how hard 
this vlogging is becoming while trying to get a job done because if you ask my guys it's literally like being on a TV set I've done TV shows before and they stop you for everything they stop to set up shots that's what I'm having to do and finding our rhythm is kind of tough starting out the season so this is going to be a work in progress but we're going to get started i just mentioned the aqua blocks which create our structural void for our disappearing waterfall and here dan is assembling one and he's got one together what this does once it's inside the liner it creates a structure where water can be stored inside that space the small one here holds about 17 gallons of water we're going to have six of them so we're looking at what 60, 60 about 102 gallons is my math right yeah, 102. We're looking at about 102 gallons that are gonna be stored for this particular waterfall. Plus we've got our pump vault, which is gonna house our pump, which stores some water as well. Okay, so we've got our rocks ready to go. Everything's staged. The reservoir's in, our liner's ready. We are ready to start building a waterfall. I've got this pile of rocks behind me. Where do we start? Which one is the first one? So how do I decide which rock to start with? Let's go inside Jack's brain. Right about here, if I had a better editing budget, there'd be like a cool graphic with like laser beams and lightning bolts and there'd be something flying through my brain, but that ain't happening yet. Maybe later. Okay, so first thing we got to do is look at our situation, look at our, our elevation, where we're starting from, which is our reservoir right here. We're going to end up with our waterfall headwater somewhere in this area here. So I've got to get from here down to here. I want to see multiple cascades coming around different rocks and stuff. So I've got to figure out where I'm going to start down the bottom. I could start in a couple places here. I could start with my frame rocks for the waterfall. I could start with some coping stone up against the pool. I could start with trying to hide the pump vault. Right now, I've got a mental picture of, of what I've got to deal with here. I'm going to go to my rock pile. I'm going to look at the rocks and I'm going to find one that speaks to me. So that sounds corny, right? But when you do this long enough, you're going to look at these rocks and you're going to say, okay, yep, that's the one. And looking at these, See, the other thing I'm, I'm looking for is texture. I want to look at like all sides of the rock. So it's going to look completely different on one side as it will on this side. And I might even want to flip it over to see what it looks like. So there's going to be a lot of analyzing that goes on and just trying to picture in my head how I would use the rock. And then beyond that, how is it going to marry up to something else? Unfortunately, these rocks don't come numbered. So I've got to look and find the one that I need in here by twisting and turning it. And sometimes I even bring them in, set them down, and they don't look anything like I thought they would in the rock pile. So then we take them back out and we try and twist them and turn them. And sometimes we even just can it and try a different one because it's just not working. For this particular waterfall, I'm thinking I'm gonna start with this rock right here. As you can see, I've got my the pump vault right there. I'm thinking I'll take this high side, which is here. I'll have the pump vault behind it and I'll let that dive down and then behind that, that will allow me to set a frame rock for a waterfall that drops down and works its way around. So that's rock number one. And then from there, that's when the magic starts. One, two.
We're getting close on the waterfall now. We've got a bit of work to do with finish work, maybe a couple more boulders and we'll be set on that. Steve and Dan are over here working on putting our lighting together. Let me show you how that works. So we've got our three watt underwater LED lights. And what we do is we make cups for them like this and we use conduit. So the light sits inside there. This gets foamed into the rock work and then the conduit goes outside of the water feature into a hub where we pull our wires through. So if ever we have a light failure, we don't have to take all the rocks apart. We can simply go to our hub, disconnect the wires and pull the light out with a string attached to it and just fish a new wire back in and it's good to go. All right, we have finished our pool waterfall. We're gonna get Kelly now. She's gonna see it for the very first time. She has not peeked once during this whole thing. All right, Kelly, you're not gonna see it just yet. Hold on. This is Kelly. Hi. <laughs> Kelly, what made you want to put a pool waterfall in to begin with? Oh, I just I love waterfalls and yeah. I just love water features and I figured it'll make it perfect, make the pool perfect. How did you let me talk you out of putting the waterfall into the actual pool? It wasn't that hard. You said you're gonna dirty. <laughs> the water's gonna be dirty. <laughs> it didn't take that much. <laughs> then, right. You said that's not the way you do it, and I'm like, okay, that's not it's the not way. It's not the you way do it. I do it. No, but actually, my pool cleaner, yeah. I will tell you, said you did the best thing because he said if it, he deals with waterfalls that go into the pool, and he said they're nightmares to clean. So. I did the right thing. The other reason I suggested is because you have a vinyl pool mm -hmm. and it's got a metal frame mm -hmm. and I don't want to put all that weight Wait. on the edge mm -hmm. of the pool. So we did, we accomplished the pool waterfall without mm -hmm. the waterfall going into the pool. So mm -hmm. now you're going to see it for the very first time. So, Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, it looks awesome. Oh, I love it. Wow. Oh, it looks beautiful. The rocks are gorgeous too. It looks so natural. So we don't have the waterfall going into the pool, but it is on the edge of the pool. It's beautiful. Do you feel like that adds to your environment back there? Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. I was like kind of like I kinda of wanted it in the pool at first, but then now that I look hey. at it, I think it's almost better that's out of the pool. totally better. You know, so I saw you guys hanging by the fire last night. Yeah. So imagine being out here in <laughs> September and the pool's closed, yep. but you still have your waterfall. And that's the thing, yeah. because you could run it when the pool's closed, yeah. So now you've got the ability to have your water feature yeah. without the pool being, being open. But when it is open, I think it just adds to the whole ambiance oh um, you know, the, the backyard. Too. Ah, it's gorgeous. Awesome. Well, Kelly. Awesome. Thank you thank very you. much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you also. Yeah, no problem. That's it. That's all we got for today. Here's the pool waterfall. Turned out awesome. So you guys like what we're doing over here at Atlantis Water Gardens. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Love to hear what you have to say. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.